it's an unbelievable feeling. It's a great feeling. Um, just to repeat what you said, you know, just growing up here, you know, walking around the city and, you know, seeing all those guys' faces on those billboards, you know, who played for the Knicks, you know, who I've always been fans of. And, you know, now to see myself up there, um, along with Evan, you know, a guy who I've known for a minute now, um, it's an unbelievable feeling. Yeah, great feeling. Thank you. Well, first of all, the Garden is my favorite arena. Uh, I've been saying that for years. I don't, ju you know, just say that because I'm a Nick now, but I've always enjoyed the, the atmosphere. You know, there's, there's just a different feeling and a different energy. So being able to play 41 games here and, you know, you know uh, having the fans with us, uh, I, I, mean, <laughs> I can't wait. I'm extremely excited. I'm extremely excited. Is there added pressure for you? Added pressure? Um, not really. I mean... It does feel different though. Like this feeling has been like no other. Like I'm just randomly getting goosebumps. Like it's it's an unbelievable feeling to, to be able to come home. As far as added pressure, I don't think so. You know, I'm as long as I'm in a good environment around great people, nah, I'll be fine. This seems pretty popular with the fans and everything. Um, how how have you been seeing that? And you know, how many people have been reaching out to you from the minute this happened? Um, I'm going to be honest, it happens everywhere. The fans don't like you, they don't like something, it don't matter where you at, to be honest. And you know, I'm from here, we got the best fans in the world, like, I know what's up, you know? So, um, I'm not really, I'm not really, I'm not really worried about that, because I know what he's going to bring, I know what I'm going to bring, and I seen what those guys brought last year, the intensity, the passion of the game, um, I think it's going to be fun, it's going to be fun. Um, where does the knee stand right now? Uh, I feel great. My knee feels great. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I haven't been playing as much um, like in the season, but yeah, I feel, I feel really good. I haven't had this much time off in, in a little while, um, in a few years, to be honest. So you know, it feels good to get this rest, you know, as well as you know, just to you know, take the time to get my knee right. So you know, I'm, I'm planning on coming in and feeling super good, um, continue to feel super good, yeah. Just how did free agency play out for you in terms of options, and why did you ultimately choose to come to the Knicks? Uh, well, it was, uh, it was a little bit different for me because I was obviously in Tokyo trying to get ready for the Olympics, and uh, the day you know, we, uh, we agreed on the deal was the day of the quarterfinal. So I was really just talking with my agent, and uh, you know, he, he was letting me know what was basically on the table and uh, what, what were my options. But, I mean, uh, it, it was pretty clear to me that you know, New York was going to be the the team for me and it made it easier because I didn't have to spend much energy and I could just focus on the Olympics. Mike Vorkin off the athletic. Hey Kim, I know you were, sorry, back here. Uh, I know you were saying you, you were on vacation when you got uh, traded, but I remember you saying uh, about a year and a half ago that in 2019 when you were a free agent, you thought you were close to coming to the Knicks in free agency. Uh, how close did you come then? And is New York, that something you always viewed as kind of a destination at some point in your career to come and play here? Yeah, I was pretty close, actually. Um, yeah, it just, didn't, it just didn't work out. Um, I always, you know I, you know, I talk to my friends, my family sometimes. We talk about, you know, possibly maybe at the end of the career, you know, finishing with the Knicks. Um, I just never seen it really ever happen. I just had no idea. Um, but now, yeah, it's, 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 it's the most unreal feeling. Like, I can't really explain it. I can't really put it into words how amazing this feeling is uh, being back home. What did you think about the Knicks group last year uh, under Tom Thibodeau? I think everybody could agree they overachieved. What were your thoughts on them, and how did that factor into your decision, free agency? Well, uh, it was a hard team to play against. They played hard, and they played with discipline. Uh, you know what, what they was going to do uh, on the court, and uh, they executed extremely well. Um, and, you know, teams like that are hard to beat because they don't beat themselves, and uh, you really have to play well to beat them. So, um, so you know, looking at a team like that, you know, it's... it's um, it's clear that they had togetherness, that they they practiced well because throughout the season they they kept you know getting better and better. And uh, as a player, that's exciting because you want to be a part of a group that works and that wants to win. I can't really. Hear Will you. there still be a plan for you to play back to backs or not play back to backs? Um, you gotta ask them. Uh, <laughs> I 
asked to. Um, <laughs> uh, I forgot the question. I'm gonna. What was the first part of the question? <laughs> Evan on the roster. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I mean, I, I think we're gonna be really good. I think we're gonna be really good. Um, you know, my ability to get in the lane. You know, um, hopefully I can, you know, draw multiple defenders and just get rid of the basketball. You know, trusting my teammates. Um, you know, I know this guy right here is gonna, you know, light it up for sure. He's gonna shoot the crap out the ball. So, then you know, we got a bunch of young guys, you know, who we just drafted who are really, really good. Who I've been really impressed with. You know, watching summer league. Um, and, you know, some of the other young guys who, who's been here, the guys from, from last season. Um, you know, me and Evan, we plan on coming here, you know, just bringing some leadership um, and just adding on to what they already got going. You know, Orlando had many good years. We all know that Steve Clifford, former Magic coach, is really good friends with Tom Thibodeau. And Clifford has said that Fournier is one of his favorite players that he's ever coached. But when it came time to make a move to potentially sign Fournier, you got to believe Coach Tibbs solicited the advice of his friend, Steve Clifford. 